And welcome to Annapolis Ash Talk. My name is Will. Next to me is Mike. Next to him is Matt. And we've got a special one here today. It's the Cohiba 1980 Reserve. The uh, rapper's a Cameroon 33 year old rapper. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. It's a special release. These were released in 2013. They've been around for a while. Rappers are older than. Uh, When's the rapper? Willie. From? It's 33 years. It says 33 Cameroon. years old. Rappers Cameroon. Cameroon. So it's a 1980, but the rapper's from 86? According to the paperwork, it says it's a 33 year old rapper. So it's probably six year old paper. <laughs> <laughs> Possible. Yeah. <laughs> Matt's the, uh, the whiz that found these. I was talking about them one day. I said, the best cigar I ever had. I try to give a short story, but I was in, uh, it was 2013, and Jack Daniels came out with a special edition, a Frank Sinatra special edition. I like Frank, love Jack, but you can only get them in Miami, LA, and Tennessee. Possibly it was New York too. My daughter lived in Tennessee. So we made the drive out to Tennessee, saw her, picked up three bottles, and while I was in the liquor store, they had these Cohibas. Uh, I think they were uh, $23, they might have been more, and uh, picked up a couple of them. Smoked it, it was the best cigar I ever had. Um, so we're sitting out here and Matt was asking me, you know, good cigars, and I said the best cigar I ever had was this is Special uh, Diamante, the limited release. He found them. He found them at uh, Benita Smoke Shop. And I had no choice but to buy them <laughs> and share them with two of my best buds. Thanks, Mike. Yeah, thank you very much. You're, you're welcome. These uh, definitely not what, <clears throat> what we're used to showing you guys. This is a box of ten was three hundred dollars, and uh, we'll see if it was worth it. <laughs> it's a lot of money for a cigar. It is. But we, um, we've been saving so much money by getting cigars that are good cigars for under $2, under $3. This was 30 30 a pop. You're getting a good size, too, then. This is a good size cigar. And it's, I'm not disappointed so far. No. It's a medium cigar. Yeah, it's supposed to be... Uh, Hint of cinnamon and toasted wood is what the whole entire cigar is supposed to be, and definitely got a spice to it. I yeah. had a little bit of a spice. It, it definitely did when um, we cut it, we inhaled and retrohaled. Um, you could definitely taste the cinnamon. Got a really good smell to it. For the people out there that smoke Cubans, it has that musty. I guess taste, for lack of a better word, mm -hmm. when you when you smell it before you light it, and uh, like the Cuban cigars do, like they've been sitting around, like they've been sitting around for a while. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they've been sitting around a while, right? It's uh, got a nice draw. Um, it's definitely stronger than that one Connecticut we had last right. Yeah. yeah. It's almost like. The wooden box that it came in. I'm getting like the taste of that, even though they were came in a beautiful, beautiful Cohiba box, beautiful wood. There's some pictures of it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. And then the box, the cigar was wrapped like a Christmas present, and then inside that was like a little cigar coffin. Mike has uh, has made reached out to Cohiba to make him a coffin. <laughs> Just like it for when his time comes. A great idea. So it was like a little lever, so yeah, a little pop up, and Michael pop up. Just <laughs> to, to sit there at an angle. Right. Weekend at Mike's. <laughs> Glass of Jack in one hand, a cigar in the other. Frank Sinatra. Yeah, yeah. It's a little early for us. Be drinking? Actually, not. It's no. Not. Uh, we, we, we could probably drink six, six or whatever. Don't say it, but uh, mm -hmm. we have to drive. So, yeah. I couldn't. <laughs> Too early. Yeah. Mine doesn't have the easiest draw. It's okay. So I guess my draw is really good. Is it? 
taste is good. I'm not getting a whole lot of pepper or anything. No. It's woody. Yeah, definitely woody. Yep, woody. <laughs> doesn't have a real strong smell at all like I said before we even let it like the cigar doesn't not now strong I, like I told Mike you could really you can smell that before we let it you can smell that hint of the spite like that cinnamon but just the you know how like when a lot of cigars you call it a barnyard smell right yeah. There's no I didn't that. have that yeah. earthy yeah yeah And you can already tell on this, it's going to have a good ash. <laughs> and we, we love ash. I'm just enjoying the cigar right now. Yeah, it's going to be hard to review. Yeah. To talk. It's, uh, it's pretty good. It Actually, is pretty good. I, I inhaled it. <laughs> and uh, have you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's now... I uh, just to see because it was so tasty, and I just like, and I inhaled it, and mm -hmm. there's nothing harsh. It's very smooth. They're very, very smooth. No, because that the Connecticut, I remember the retro on that one was not harsh, but it was spicy. Like it had a much like pep, real pepperish spice to it. At least the first like at the beginning, whereas this ha does not have that. No. Dominican Republic, Nicaraguan filler. And it's old. I guess, uh, it's four years older than I am. <laughs> You're older than you, Willie? Yeah. Yep. Limited release. And again, Bonita Springs. I mean, Bonita Smoke Shop in Bonita Springs, Florida. Matt found them. I was like, oh, I got it. I got to have it again. Thank you, Bonita Springs. Yeah. yeah. Bonita well, Springs, they, they know what a find this is. And uh, I know how lucky we are to have them. And thanks again to Charlie. Shout out. Yeah. Very happy. I got a, took my UPS driver, took video of him when he was uh, <laughs> delivering them. And it was, for me, it was like Christmas. It was like just splurged and treated myself. Mm -hmm. Something special. Life's too short. Might as well do what you like. You gotta enjoy something every now and then. Yeah. Or you're just gonna go crazy. Yeah. <laughs> this is Mike's last day. Yeah, Willie was Willie's birthday was yesterday. Happy birthday. Happy Thank birthday, you. Willie. Mine's on Wednesday, so this is our uh, birthday scars. Matt's coming up. November. It's coming up. Yeah, it's not far. <laughs> Shit, it'll be here before we know it. <laughs> yeah, that's a draw on yours. It's not perfect, but it's, I mean, it's, but I'm not like struggling either. Way. Yeah. Definitely a medium cigar. Yeah. Well, you can definitely see there's a difference between cigars then, because this might be the best draw I've ever had on a cigar. So. <clears throat> yeah. Well, that's it. Yep, have a good one. Have a good one. <laughs> We're just going to sit back and enjoy. And sorry, you guys have to just watch us. I'm giving it a nine. Nine's like so far? the highest I can go with it. Uh, you know, I... Until some, you know... I'd give it a nine, maybe Because a I ten. can't... I know, I... I don't know. I don't know what I would assume is a ten. When I... This was the best cigar I ever had. I got to tell you, that second best cigar... Was that Cohiba, Connecticut? That was that was a great. The cigar. Connecticut and the Hoyo. Oh, I got Hoyos. No, oh, yeah, the, the non-Cuban made, and then we smoked the uh, the Davidoff. The yeah. Davidoff yeah. Uh, Genevieve was really good too. Yeah, I like that. that had a pew, lot pew, 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 pew. <laughs> you all right? Was that shots fired pew, at pew, you? Pew, 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 <laughs> pew. Oh, he's firing the middle Flip, finger at us. That's, yeah, that's real nice. We're, in, we're into the first, th pretty much in the first third. Great looking yeah. ash on it. <laughs> very, very good. Yeah. I'd like to say 
getting your money's worth for thirty dollars a cigar. <laughs> I mean, the presentation was real nice. It has a beautiful box that I'll keep as a spare humidor, I guess. But uh, taste is great. It does taste very good. See, I compare everything back to that Hoyo Cuban. And this is right there with it. So. Yeah. And that was a nine. Yeah. And like you said, that Cohiba, Connecticut is right there too. I don't yeah. Know. And it's hard to give a ten if, if we're going, I mean, with the cost of, 10, of $30 a cigar. Yeah. But, it's, but a ten's a ten. You got to just disregard how much it costs. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to give it a ten just because I paid thirty dollars a cigar either. Nah, yeah, because you can pay like we <laughs> found my own. Yeah, you pay for things that are not worth what you paid for. Right. My draw has uh, gotten better. A little easier to draw, and again, I've inhaled it a couple times mm-hmm. into my lungs. <clears throat> It'd be all right. Where, Where else are you going to inhale? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I guess. Through my gills. <laughs> my blowhole. <laughs> Went out my blowhole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That's a dolphin joke, I guess, huh? I wonder if they bust each other's uh, hump. Jeez. <laughs> hey, I better stop inhaling and I'm getting buzzed. <laughs> Start seeing you swerving on the roads, one now. Very nice retro hail. Good cigar. It's almost not even medium. Like the medium? Yeah. Yeah. Well, if I can inhale it. I think the, the Connecticut was just a little bit stronger than this. Yes, it was. Because the Camacho. It's definitely stronger than this. Yeah. But yeah. And so was you that, think the uh, Connecticut was stronger than this? I, I yeah, think I, I do. Little... I do too. Um, the Genevieve, that had a lot of spice and flavor to it. Mm-hmm. The what? The David Off, the one you yeah. had to smoke. Yeah. Pew, pew. <laughs> dicks. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that was a $20 cigar. <laughs> yeah, you guys are dicks. Can't even wait for me, Willie. What the hell? <laughs> I bought you a cigar. It does. Unfortunately, those turned out to be bad. It's got a great ash. Look at that. Yeah. Gosh, I think we're just now getting, just starting to go into the second third. <laughs> <clears throat> starting to get more flavor, a little more spice now. Mm-hmm. Getting into it. Coming a little more on the medium side than the light side, but yeah, you were right. It was very light to start. A little bit of black mold. Yeah. It's got to be on this one. Black mold, <laughs> musty. We got great reviews, don't we? Farming. <laughs> it's like dirt. It's chewy. <laughs> a, hint, a hint of uh, animal. And shit. by that, I mean it smells like Chewbacca. <laughs> It's a good one. It is good. And I guess it's like when you sit down and start eating a good steak, no one's talking. I'm not I'm not smoking another cigar today. No. What am I gonna smoke? <laughs> Everything else is the shit compared to this. If I had a Connecticut I'd smoke it, but Yeah. I light up anything else, I'm gonna mic hawk it right into the <laughs> <laughs> right into the ashtray. I, I, I think I'm gonna probably do the same thing. This will be it for me for the day. Just enjoy this. There's some other type of flavor, like on the draw, and I can't. That's, take... what, I, that's what I was telling you. There was something. Like I said, it was the wood, the cinnamon before I lit it. But there was something else there. I couldn't quite put my finger on what that flavor was. On the exhale, that's when I get like that the toasted toasted wood. But on that draw, it's I don't it's like I don't want to say citrus, but I, it's like something it's just like there's something else. Would that be like cedar maybe? Well, I don't know. Poison ivy. 
Well, if that's the case, yeah. <laughs> I'll be in trouble here real quick. <laughs> These are all infused with Fidel Castro's urine. <laughs> Special. Yeah. Old Fidel. 1980 Fidel. Yeah. Classic. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. You got the uh, you got the Fidel beard going. I uh, know. Yeah, getting a little bit more medium now. Uh, more well, more spice. Much. Yeah, mine's staying about the same. Well, I got more spice on the retro hail on that. Maybe because the draw is easier for me now. That part has changed. That has gotten better. I've got no complaints. No. None. Sticking with my nine. <clears throat> for the simple fact. Like I said, I comparing it to the Cuban, the Hoyo, and it's right there with it. She's about halfway through. That ash is still going. Yep. I think if you really wanted to push it, it could probably take it all the way down to the band. <laughs> as far as thick as this cigar is, it should probably go that far. This is probably one where you could stand it up. Well wrapped. No wormholes. No wormholes. No. <laughs> that was a shame. For it being 39 years old. <laughs> No wormholes. I do like this. I'm going to have to give it a 10. I don't know. I don't know about paying $30 for it. But it is a very good cigar. I'm sticking with a 9. I don't blame you. Until something is like the greatest cigar I've ever had. Well, you know, like way up. Above, like that. Yeah. That that's what this was when I first smoked it. Was I never had anything this good. And uh the Cohiba Habanas, the Cuban box of Cubans I got were very good too. But if you put this with on a table with the Connecticut and the Hoyo, I don't know which one I would pick. So that's why I'm giving it an eye. I don't blame me. Because I can't be like you know this one's <clears throat> that much better. better yeah that yeah i can't you know that i can totally decide that we've all this. said it's subjective well, like i would i think right now like i would rather go i'd like to have a little bit more spice into this i think maybe that's what i'm missing we were just talking about that before we came out here was that not that i'm you know necessarily going for the the more the medium bodies to full body cigars but i do I'm, i am liking having that more a little bit more taste and yeah, maybe a little more pepper in it. Yeah. Would yeah. Put it over the top. The uh, I'm getting more like a cinnamon as I'm getting into it <clears throat> more than I did at the beginning. And it's funny, Willie. His his taste has evolved since we all started smoking together. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, if it's not messing, not causing me indigestion. Willie I'm used to work. like crap. <laughs> <laughs> not even kidding. <laughs> I'm not even, you know, no. like uh, like Jen's friend at work said, uh, she's bougie now that she drives a Volvo. Yeah. I'm not even being bougie. It's just he liked crap. He bought the cheapest of the cheap. Philly Blunts, Dutch Masters. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't do that. I was uh, Swisher Sweet Perfectos. I did a lot of the machine. That's, I still do backwards if, if I have to, if I just want something I don't. Well, I haven't done those in a while. Though. Yeah, I don't. Uh, to... I don't think I could do them anymore. I'm kind of curious about those. Remember those rum ones we used to get? I used to buy like the 20 packs, two in a sealed. Oh uh, yeah, that was the Havana honey ones. Havana honey. Oh yeah. I'm kind of wondering if I could do those now. Probably not. Devil's weed. Oh, I did that the other night. That was the hard. main thing with Devil's Weed. You have to punch it. Yeah, you have to punch it because it would, the filler would come out, spit in tobacco. Yeah. And that's for I, I imagine that's all around because, like I said, their their coffee one was the same way. It's just a soft, softer cigar. And look at that. Yeah. I'm sure I can still do the knockoffs that we get from CI. Is it splitting? I had one yesterday. Not at all. Did you? It was still good. Yeah, it wasn't bad. I was still, and I, I was actually planning on actually getting another thing of the Cuban originals. 
not the long, not the Churchills, but right. the, the, the Robustas. Those were good, inexpensive, cheap, however you want to put it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a ten. You're, you're stuck in a nine. Nine. Yeah, I'm at a nine. I can't give it a ten. Like I'd like to have a little bit more of a pepper taste, and yeah. just a little more spice to it. It's really good. I have no complaints. Yeah. I just nine's pretty pretty good. And again, anybody that uh, nine's about as good as it gets for me. Like I said, until something for, like wows me, mm -hmm. like you know that I've never had anything that good in my life. Yeah. Then I'm not Favorite. giving it a ten. Yeah. I mean, it will probably be a Philly blunt or something. I know it won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Philly Blunt 1979 edition. Yeah. Probably deteriorated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it would hold up like this does. 79. Well, anything else, guys? Well, no. as always, just follow us on Instagram, Twitter. Our email is uh, annapolisashtalk at gmail.com. Um, we're also over at uh, Spirited Smoke now, which is a really great website that's come out for just strictly for tobacco and cigars. Uh, Provado Cigar Club, that's who started it up, because at some point, if all these other media, social media start to fail and fall apart because they don't want to support the tobacco, firearms, and alcohol, then that's where everybody's going to be heading over to, and there's a lot of members there now. So we're on there, and subscribe below. Other than that, have a great day. Take it easy. Light them up. Have a good one.